what's John going to be up to when he's not DEOing? <laughs> <laughs> he's walking the earth. <laughs> He's living amongst the people in National City, as he promised his father. Um, but he's really kind of struggling to live a life of total peace. I mean, when you're as badass as Jean, uh, at some point you might have to step in and kick some butt. And um, I think that's going to be his conflict going forward, is how, how far he can take the idea of uh, 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 the pacifist ideals of his father uh, how, how he can really implement them in a, a world which is violent and uh, and um, you know needs 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 some sorting out so that's I think that's going to be his comfort this year this season working with Carl you had a couple of interesting scenes where I'm not sure if you were if you start laughing when he comes in saying I had the best thing ever it's called coffee, <laughs> oh, coffee yes. how many times do you think you probably broke 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 scene and actually started laughing when he came to you with that with that reaction. Um, I didn't actually because it's such a sweet, you know. It's, I mean, I, I, what was what was wonderful was was I mean I loved his delivery you know, mm-hmm. and I loved the fact that he called it brown water and some of his <laughs> some of his uh, uh, colloquialisms were, were were wonderful. But I, I think you know the idea of watching your father slip away. Uh, and re- repeat things uh, and a number of people wrote to me and were saying how much they were moved by it because they, they themselves had had um, experience of that and my own father died um, uh, you know, had compl- died of complications with dementia so it was, uh, it was quite tough to play those scenes and, and you know I kind of told him about that and so every time we got together it was, it was, it was kind of quite emotional so it wasn't really breaking, it was more, it was quite tough to do those things, but yeah. wonderful to play with him, it was just awesome, really great fun. How hard will it be for him to let go of the DEO and let somebody else be running it? I think he's quite confident that, that Alex is the right person, um, and I, you know, it's very exciting for me because, as I say, as a character, uh, I've never been outside the DEO, I've only ever seen him uh, in that DEO outfit, so it's going to be interesting to see how he, you know, we've had to talk about how he dresses, we've had to talk about, you know, you know, you know, um, you know, where does he, where does he live, what's his, what are his habits, you know, so it's like, it's like breaking a whole new character, which is exciting, you know? so I think the audience is going to see him in a very different very different light this year. I think he's, he's trying to be peaceful. Even though he's on, on quote unquote, to walk about away from the EO, does he still see himself as a, like the parental figure for Kara? Oh, very much so, yeah. I mean, he's never gonna, he's never not gonna be uh, the father figure to Alex and Kara. Um, and I think we see that in episode, um, we see that uh, take flight in episode 404. There's a wonderful sequence in 404 where, um, I think he finally makes his mind up that he has to be the Martian Manhunter, and it's a really cool sequence. Uh, so look out for it. Speaking of being a father figure, is there any chance that he and Joe West can ever get together and complain about their super children? <laughs> <laughs> um, who knows? Maybe that's another uh, subject for a crossover. Let's, let's, let's do it. I don't, I don't mind the super that. dads. The super dads, yes. <laughs> I'd like to do that. Someone was talking last night about doing um, a Black Lightning crossover where it's all the black characters come for Christmas dinner. Yes. <laughs> that'd be quite, that'd be quite, I think that'd be quite something. Will there be um, any interaction this season with John and Vaughn? Uh, again, you know, sometimes a lot of these things really depend on, on actors' availability, and uh, I think Sharon's doing very well. I, mean, I think she's doing a show in New York, so I'm not sure how how much uh, time she, she has off, but I'd love to work with her, so I'd, I'd work with her again in a heartbeat. She's a fabulous actress. 